Yeah, season five, episode eight, folks. It's the Oscars tonight. Yeah, I, I, that's, that's it. That's all I really, I really it's all I, well, I got that in a beer. I mean, I, I don't know what else you want from me. But it is the Oscars tonight. And I thought, we need a movie cocktail. A what? Yeah, a movie cocktail. The, the little guy in the front should have told you. I mean, he's practically giving it away. Literally, he's giving it away. There's bananas. We got a banana daiquiri. A banana daiquiri? It's a movie cocktail. Yes, it's true. Oh, we got fun tonight. Folks, I, sometimes it serves a line. And tonight, they align in Hollywood. The Oscars. Come on in. Blue Monkey Quarantina. Only business. Monkey business. Well, and cat business, apparently. And all sorts of stuff. A lot of animals. But we're ready. Folks, it's true. It is It is Oscar night. We are ready to rock and roll. And we, we've, we've, we've got your movie cocktail. Now, you may be thinking, Paul, I know you like to play along with the holidays. Uh, it's also national or annual or I don't know, whatever. It's, it's daylight savings day, time, whatever. We did that one. We, sun also rises, right, Joe? Yeah. <clears throat> did it last year. Yeah. Great cocktail. Go look it up. Season four. Some number. I don't remember what. That's me. It is. You're uh, famous. I'm the I'm, I'm, uh, and the Oscar goes to... It is Oscar time. Envelope, please. The irony is that you ask me that. I open it up. The drink. Banana daiquiri. <laughs> oh, the banana daiquiri wins. Yes, best cocktail of the year goes to banana daiquiri. Paul, how in the world? All right. All right. All right. Slow down. Let me get you there. Well, now you're slowing down. Well, I'm trying. I mean, I only got that much beer left, so I can't go too slow. Danish beer tonight, by the way. Mm. All right, little the Carlsberg. Elephant. Very tasty. Anyway. Paul, for God's sakes, get on with the story. 1898. I got to take you back to 1898. We got to go to Cuba, right? A little town called Daiquiri. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And that's where we have Harry uh, Stout and uh, Jennings Cox. And uh, they are credited with creating the original Daiquiri. Daiquiri at the time was, so basically what you had before the daiquiri was what was called a grog. Basically rum, <laughs> write the recipe down folks, rum and water. Not too tasty. No. Not too tasty. I'm sure that rum wasn't good either. No, no. So you got Stout and Cox and he gets a little coxy. I should be in motion pictures. And he comes up with this idea of creating this the daiquiri again because he's having a party in the town of daiquiri it's crazy what they come up with anyway they decide to add lime and sugar to the grog and it's delicious it's a hit and they have created and cure scurvy and malaria, and malaria. yeah it was actually yeah it was a, it was a big you know hey everything was curing something so this was a big sailor drink um and uh yeah so that's what we had, 1898. Now, fast forward, 1970, and then we go to one of our favorite places, Shelby. Virgin Islands. Virgin <laughs> Islands, the U.S. Virgin Islands, to be to be precise. So not BVI, but USVI. St. Thomas, 1970, a little place there called the Mountaintop Bars, credited with creating the banana cocktail. And there you have it. So, uh, banana cocktail? Banana Cocktail. Okay. Daiquiri. Oh, okay. I said banana cocktail. You did. A few times, in fact. It's my fault. Lime. Lime. Daiquiri. Daiquiri. Banana daiquiri. We're in the movies, folks. It's the Oscars night. Paul, how in the world... Told me every time you say it. Every time. Daiquiri, please. Envelope goes to... So anyway, how in the world is the banana daiquiri tied to the Oscars? So what I'm giving you, boom, is the greatest nod to the Oscars. 
You're going to walk me off the stage soon, but it's true. I have to you a movie cocktail. Now, what is a movie cocktail? By Paul, a movie cocktail is any cocktail that is basically created or uh, shown or from a movie. So let me give you a couple we've done. Show you'll remember these. Um, one, we did The Sun Also Rises. Mm-hmm. And, okay, that's a little bit of a stretch. But let me give you some better ones. How about we did the Vesper Martini? Oh, that was lovely. James Bond. Yes. That's what made that one. Let me give you the most popular one that most people will, will know quickly. White Russian. Mm-hmm. Big Lebowski. Yeah. We've done it. So I had to scratch my head. I had to come up with. Not only did I have to come up with a great cocktail, I had to tie it to a great movie. Because you just can't do any movie. So I give you this. 1974, not just any movie, I give you 11 nominations, I give you best picture, I give you the best director, best uh, uh, supporting actor, best screenwriting, best, I don't know, there's some other stuff, Uh, what's the score, is that the music part of it? Yes. Best score, the movie, Godfather Part 2, true. Yeah, look it up. It won Academy Awards, Oscar, uh, Best Director, Francis Ford Coppola, uh, Best Picture, Godfather 2, Best Supporting Actor, Robert De Niro, and The Banana Daiquiri. What? Banana Daiquiri? Paul, I, I, I don't remember. Of all the movie, I am not sure I remember The Banana Daiquiri. Scene. I paint you setting. Outdoor Cafe, Cuba, Frito is sitting with Michael at a table. <clears throat> Frito says, ordering from the waiter. He says, uno, uh, por favor. He looks at Michael and says, how do you say banana daiquiri? And, and Michael looks at him and says, banana daiquiri. And he orders a banana daiquiri. Soda water for uh, Michael, by the way. But anyway, it's a scene. It's from there. Banana daiquiri. We're going to do it. Now, a lot of ways to do banana daiquiri is if you know me, one way we're not going to do it is... Blended. We're not blending it. We're giving you... Because if you go back, the true daiquiri is not a blender drink. So I'm giving you the classic banana daiquiri straight up coupe glasses. So first thing, get your coupes cold. Step one, cold coops. Second of all, uh, let's grab our ingredients. First of all, a little bit of ice. We're mixing some stuff up here tonight. We're going to go with rum. Now, you go with any rum you want. I, per, I, would, I would recommend a darker rum, kind of an aged rum, uh, because uh, it's Hollywood, it's movies night. I'm going uh, Ernest Hemingway. I'm going with Papa's Pillar. Right? Oh, just oh, delicious. Great. All by itself. I Two ounces. Pilar. I think it's Pilar. Pilar? Yeah. You know I can't pronounce words. I already have another big word coming up, so don't. No. I don't want to blow my lines. Oh, do we have Worcestershire sauce? No, but I have a big word, and I don't want to mess up my lines tonight on the Oscars. So, uh, two ounces per. One for Shelby. You've got, it's not cat in the hat. You've got cat on the hat. I do have cat on the hat. Nothing to do with the uh, Hollywood. I do have a Hollywood t-shirt on, though. Right? Beach yeah, or zombie. It literally says Hollywood, California. I'm all, I, I'm all in. Folks, I don't know if you realize the amount of minutes we spend prepping for these show. I mean, it's the best episode we've done this week. It is. <laughs> Humor too. Humor too. All right, turn around. We're coming in with banana liqueur. Um, we're going to go uh, half an ounce per. So uh, that's one ounce total. There's one ounce total. Oh, God, banana liqueur just is delicious to smell. Then um, we're going to come in with lime juice. Um, so, uh, yes, a daiquiri, all daiquiris, lime juice, fresh, never frozen. <laughs> just kidding. It's just fresh and we're going to go uh it's it, it, not in blue monkey yeah not here one ounce uh two ounces total so get you some good fresh limes oh, 
bitch. Uh-oh. What? Um. Not juicy limbs. I, we're gonna make it. Two. I need one ounce each. Two ounces total. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, there it is. Just a little bit more. I really like this bright beer. Thanks. What's Danish? Mm. So, you know it's good. <laughs> um, just a, a little hint more of, of the line. So one ounce per, two ounces total. Just a little short, so we did that. Don't mind me. Just a lot of a lot of pieces here. Then uh, the star of the show, I believe, is going to be the Damara syrup. So not simple syrup, Damara syrup. What is Damara? Damara is the day after today. No. <laughs> God bless it. That was a bad Hollywood I... dad joke. And the Oscar goes to for best dad joke. Me. All right. Anyway, uh, so Damara. <laughs> That was bad. Uh, simple syrup. All right. So what it is, is it's Damara sugar uh, versus refined sugar. So normally simple syrup is just your plain, you know, uh, refined white sugar. You one-to-one, -one, boil it down, clear. It's good. It works. Damara sugar is uh, Damara? Yeah. Damara. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it is n not as uh, purified, refined. Damara. Demara, Demerara, 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 yeah. This is what happens when you say a word too many times. I know, sorry, Demerara. Anyway, you can find it. It, it looks like brown sugar, but it's more granular. And what it is, is it's just not purified as much, so it still holds a lot of the molasses in the sugar. So what happens is when you add water and you, and you make your own syrup, you're going to get something like this, and it has a, a molasses-type flavor smell to it. Now, we always make it, we make this one rich too, meaning it's two to one, not one to one. So instead of one cup of sugar, one cup of water, this is one cup of sugar, half a cup of water. And then we're going to come in one ounce total, half ounce per. You can go a little bit lighter if you want. All that thickness. It's going to taste like banana foster. I bet you. Oh. Right. I mean. Yeah. I can't wait. Oh, it is deliciousness in the class, folks, is what I'm telling you. There it is. Come back. Boom. We're going to give it a good shake, especially with that heavy syrup. And the Oscar for best cocktail shake goes to me. All right. There it is, uh, folks. Give it a good shake. Set that off to the side. Bring in those nice, cool coops. Bananas off to the side. That's our garnish. Hold for me. And then uh, we're going to strain this right into our coops. Oh, look at that. Looks fun. Does it not look fun? Mm -hmm. Garnish. We got a few things tonight. I wasn't sure what I wanted here. So first, some nice dehydrated limes right on top. Because we want a little bit of a citrus hint, right? And then we're gonna come in with banana. Look at this. You ready for this? Look at this funness. Why wouldn't you take the pillow? Huh? I don't know, because the picture has it on. Folks, I do all my research in eight minutes. There it is. That's it. Pretty. Wait. There's more. Oh. The Oscar for best supporting supplement to a cocktail. Emergency! Emergency has done it again. Another year for uh, like 50 years in a row. Emergency. We're just going to give it a little, little hint on top beautiful folks there it is that is your banana daiquiri quarantine style oscar nominated let's see if it wins best cocktail of the year 
Oh, that's a new favorite. You're mind blown. Get ready. Give that a try. Come in for a little cheers. Kick. Folks, I'm telling you what. Oh, that smells delicious. Right? I mean. Oh. Oh, yeah. Am I right? Oh, my gosh. I will never have a daiquiri any other way. I mean, this is it. A few side notes here, folks, to take home with you. First of all, the daiquiri mm. is actually kind of what they call a uh, a bartender's uh oh man that's good it, it's like a they call it the bartender's handshake it's like a litmus test of cocktails because it's really easy it, so a daiquiri is not a hard drink to make but you can screw it up easily because there's not much to it so a lot of bartenders test they test other bartenders by how they make a daiquiri no like i test people by their Dirty Martini. Mm. So, this is a great test cocktail. I would be curious what... But you got to know how to make it yourself, and you got to know what you like. Go on. I was going to say, I would be curious what others' test drinks are Ooh, when they go out. I mean, we, we every, I, I everybody know, probably has. Or a lot of people probably do. Comment here for the two people that are out there. Uh, what is Marla, your... I, I know you're out there. Yeah. So. Commented. so, I don't know much about it. I, I, I'll be honest. I, I knew exactly. the Oscars tonight. I, I did my research. But I, I do know You're this. You're asking you I, I got it. it. It's like we're there. We're on the red carpet. Nay, champagne carpet this year. Did they really go with that? Yeah, they went with champagne. No, and, they didn't. Yeah, true story. I was going to do champagne cocktail because of that. I said, nay. Nay. I have a better cocktail. This is me acting. You're welcome. Anyway, um, here's one thing I did learn. So the Academy Awards... Uh, Damn it, I'm trying to get her. It started in 1929. Now, here's a question. Do you know why it's called the Oscars? You asked. Now that I don't have a cat in my lap. Two stories. Two stories. One story says that it was because of Betty Davis. And she said that the back end of the trophy looked like her husband's back end. His name was Oscar. Literally. The story. <laughs> oh, we're on a roll tonight, folks. But the story that most people believe is that Margaret Herrick. Herrick? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Herrick. Um, she was actually a uh, an academy librarian. I have no idea what that is. Librarian worked at the academy. But she immediately said that that looked like her uncle. And the uncle's name was, envelope please. Oscar. I, I know. It's all good. So, folks, there you go. It is, uh, it's your holiday night or Hollywood night. Go enjoy uh, your own movie cocktail. Let us know what you pick. We're sticking with the banana daiquiri, though. I mean, it's fantastic. Yeah, it is. Definitely got a new favorite. Mm. Oh, I mean, citrus. But then that banana, and it's not like overpowering. You're not drinking it like, well, that's a banana. Mm -hmm. But you can tell it's but a I banana. But I want more banana in it. Thank you. Banana delivered. <laughs> Folks. <laughs> there you go. I feel like I get to spend the rest <laughs> of the night. But... Here we go. Folks, I hope you enjoy your evening. I hope you get to watch some Oscars. And I hope you have the best night of your life. Cheers. We're out of here. Love you.